Hi, I'm Mark Goldenberg for Peghead Nation. I'm here today to talk about my two callings. Um, I have two different callings guitars that I use a lot and I really like them. They're great guitars and these two are pretty different. So I use them for different things. This one that I'm holding is a model called the OM2H. Um, this is an OM size, which is the typical of the Martin style guitars, the pre-war Martin guitars, has a slightly longer scale. This one has a Sitka spruce top and a Indian rosewood back and sides. Um, I use uh, uh, Diodario 12s for my strings on both guitars. And this guitar is really versatile. It uh, uh, is suitable for playing finger style because it's got a very balanced tone. Has plenty of nice warm lows, but since the body's a little bit thinner, it, it, it seems to the, the lows don't take over and uh, the trebles are nice and fat. Uh, I think a lot of people use these for finger style, but it also uh, does well as a flat picking guitar too because it has uh, a nice balanced tone. Um, I'll play a little bit of a flat pick for you. Um, I got this guitar a few years ago, and I found that it was really solid. Like uh, ca all Collins guitars, they're really well built, very solid. This one uh, seemed to be impervious to feedback. So I ended up being uh, using this guy for most of my touring and uh, gigs around town, um, just because it seemed to be happy in almost any environment. I put a Bags Anthem system in it, which is... a uh, under saddle piezo unit and a small mic that's on the inside, uh, which you can mix here. Um, and it seems to be very pretty accurate sounding system, very easy to use. Uh, so I, I've toured with this guitar. I toured with um, uh, Hugh Laurie with it all over the world. We went uh, all over the place with this guitar. It was really solid. I never had any issues with it at all. It's a really fantastic little guitar. Um, so, yes, so that's the OM2. OM2H means that uh, it has the rosewood back and sides and also has this delightful herringbone purfling. I basically went, went into Westwood Music in Los Angeles, California, looking for an OM1, but he didn't have one. And um, he just said, well, I got one of these OM2s. You want to try it? And I, and I put it in my hands and I went, great, sold. Now, when I got it, it was it felt a little stiff that like it, it had a kind of a newness to it. And I've heard that callings do take a little while to break in, but I, I played this guitar a lot over the last couple of years and it's really starting to open up and feel, feel uh, nice and squishy. So, you know, getting a new guitar can sometimes be daunting because they don't sound exactly what, like what you want, but they do change over time. I use this, I've been using this for my solo guitar stuff and I use it for sessions all the time. It seems to be, a pretty nice jack-of-all-trades guitar.
So what I have here is a Collins 001M uh, stand, or I think maybe it's MH. It's a 001MH. This guitar is their double O size, which is smaller, as you can tell, than the, the, the OM. The OM is basically the size of a triple O, but with a longer scale neck. Um, double O is slightly uh, smaller body, and it's also a 12 fret model, which means that the uh, bridge is pushed back a little bit on the to the body of the guitar. Some people feel that the 12 fret guitars have a sweeter sound overall because of the uh, uh, placement of the bridge in the quote sweet spot of the guitar. And I, I have found that this guitar definitely has a different kind of tone to it, a sweetness. Also, the fact that it's all mahogany, um, I think influences the tone too. Many uh, Martins from the 1920s and 30s were made out of all mahogany. I think it was a less expensive alternative to the spruce top. Um, but they do have a nice sweet tone. More fundamentals than harmonics, I think. They have a very kind of pure tone. Uh, I'll play a little bit for you. Another factor that plays into this guitar is the short scale. Um, compared to the OM, the double O has a, a 24.9 inch scale, and the uh, OM has a 25 and a half inch scale, I think. Um, so that makes the tension of the strings on this guitar feel a little uh, looser. So this guitar uh, allows me to do some more, you know, wind, wiggly, bendy things. It has a nice soft feel. Um, so the overall impression of this guitar is a little sweeter and softer. Uh, I tend to use it primarily for finger style. I got this guitar because I was looking for something a little bit smaller to, to tote around doing solo guitar gigs. If I had a fly date, sometimes traveling with a larger guitar can become an issue and uh, if you have it in a case. Uh, but this guitar, if you put it in a gig bag, usually fits nicely in an overhead bin. So, uh, and it's still, you know, there's plenty of bass that comes off this guitar. It's got a really nice tone. I use it primarily for finger style, and I think that the majority of people who have these tend to use, use these for finger style. It sounds good when you play it with a pick, and I have done some recording with it as a strumming guitar, but it's, it seems to, to suit uh, the finger style a lot more. Um, like... All the other callings that I've tried, the, the build quality is impeccable. Um, they all have really nice tone. Um, they're very consistent. You go from one to another, and they're just fantastic guitars. This one is a nice complement to my OM because it allows me to get some softer, sweeter tonalities. And if I want something a little more uh, aggressive or projecting, I can use the OM for that. Um, so those are my two callings. And... Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, me talking about them for you. All right. So for Peghead Nation, this is your pal, Mark Goldenberg.